Hi, it's Sharon Smith, and I am back in video again. I took a little break over the Christmas holiday while my kids were home, and we had an awful lot of fun. It was great, but now I am back to work again and making some videos for you guys. Today, I would like to share with you some things that I use personally, and I use these on a regular basis, to help maintain and enhance my vision. My eyes. Now, I'm 61, uh, it's 2017 still while I'm making this, and I don't wear glasses, and I don't wear them even to read. I do find, however, that occasionally my vision gets a little bit less accurate or a little bit blurry. So I do a number of different things, and some of them include tapping, but I also do some eye exercises that I'm going to take you through, and I hope it helps. Now, as with all of my videos, I do need to be sure that you have read and agreed to my disclaimer before we do any work. And if you're seeing this YouTube version, it should be just, you can just scroll down, it should be right below there. Just have a look at it. You can pause me for a minute. If you're seeing this other than YouTube, uh, the YouTube version, you can go to my website, apainplan.com, and just, it shows my disclaimer up there at the top. You can just click on that. So you can pause me. I promise I will not start without you. And welcome back. Okay, so tapping for vision. Now my eyesight, I have noticed this over the years. Um, sometimes I will get a little bit blurry. Just, just, it'll be a little blurry. And I might notice it, you know, first thing in the morning, or I might notice it after reading the news, which is kind of a big one for me. Um, and what that is, it's an indication of storing stress and tension in your eyes. And we all do it, it's not a big thing, but what I do to clean it up is to use some EFT. So, uh, if there's maybe a relationship issue that I don't wanna look at, and this will be true for you as well, because I'm just like you guys. So if there's something that you don't like the look of in your life going on, maybe multiple things, or in the world as you watch the news and you go, oh, that is just awful, I don't want to see that, I don't want to know that, you can store that in your eyes. And using a little bit of EFT can clear that out. So we're just going to start tapping, and I'll take you through a little bit of that. And at the end of this, I'm going to show you some focusing eye exercises that I have used for years. And they're really simple, you just do it by focusing and looking at your finger. You can do some more elaborate ones than this, but I think this one is really effective, so stick around. All right, so tapping, just starting on the karate chop point, the outside of the hand. Boy, my vision is not very clear all of a sudden. I've got a little bit of blurry vision. But I'm open to healing this now because I completely love and accept myself. And I love my eyes. Even though I've got a little bit of blurred vision. I'm holding some stress and tension in my eyes. I'm open to letting it go now. So even though I'm holding some stress and tension in my eyes, I completely love and accept myself and I'm open to letting it go. Good. Top of the head. I'm holding some stress in my eyes. I know I am. I've got some tension in my eyes too. For some good reasons. There's some things in my life that are causing me stress. They're causing tension. I don't like to look at this. And I stuck it in my eyes. These things that I don't want to see. It's not fun to look at them. And it made my vision blurry. The head. I don't need to hold on to this anymore. 
my eyes are full of distress and tension. I allow myself to see what I need to see. I give my eyes permission to let go of all this stress. It's safe to let it go. All the stress and tension I've been holding in my eyes. I choose to just let it go now. It feels good to let it go. Hold your wrist points and breathe. <sighs> Say peace. Good. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit more. There's some things out there that I don't like to look at. Sometimes I don't like to see me very clearly. It's not fun to look at myself. Not really look up close. It's unpleasant. It makes me sad. Sometimes looking at all these things makes me angry. And sometimes there are things out there that scare me. And I don't like looking at them. And I stuck this in my eyes. But I'm open to healing it now. I allow myself to let go of any fear that I stuck in my eyes. It's safe to let it go now. I allow myself to let go of sadness. Especially sadness that I stuck in my eyes. It's safe to let it go. And now I choose to release any anger that I stuck in my eyes. It's perfectly safe to let that go too. Feels good to let it go. Because I love my eyes. <sighs> Peace. Good. Now let's go back and put some positive things in our eyes. Now that my eyes feel better, I'm going to give them a little boost. I allow myself to fill my eyes with love. I choose to fill my eyes with peace and calm. I choose to fill my eyes with clear sight and the knowledge that I have the ability to see things with peace and calm and love and compassion for myself and others. It feels good to fill my eyes with these things because I love my eyes. Peace. Good. Then you may want to come back and do this more than once and feel free to change up the wording to make it a little more personal for you if there are specific things that you know that you're not enjoying looking at. Um, I think you'll see a difference from it. Now I want to show you a cool trick and this is just a fun thing that I have done for years. And it's a focusing exercise, and you can use a pencil, or you can just use your finger. Uh, I don't always have a pencil with me, and so this is easy. You're going to start with your hand at arm's length. Now, my camera's a little too close, so just imagine this is arm's length. And I want you to focus on your finger for a moment. And now focus out and see everything around your finger. And now back to the finger again. Now slide your hand closer to your, closer to your face and do the same thing. Focus out and just relax your shoulders while you do this. Don't hold tension there. And back on the finger and out again. 
and then closer. Look at the end of your finger and then look out. Now I'm going to cross my eyes here and then put your finger right at the tip of your nose and here we go. Really focus on your finger. Can't believe I'm crossing my eyes in this public video but here we go. And then focus out again. And one more time. Back to the tip of your finger and focus out. And then move it back out away from your face and do that again. I usually do that maybe 10 or 15 times. It doesn't take very long to do it. You can do it while you're sitting. Uh, you can do it just take a break while you're doing anything. If you've been working at the computer for a lot of hours, I find this to be especially helpful. Just take a break, stand up, maybe you know, roll your shoulders a little bit, do some neck rolls, and do that focusing exercise. And always, always don't forget to tap because that's what will keep the stress and tension flowing out of you. We all accumulate it. It's just normal and we're human. And it's a good thing. So again, I'm Sharon Smith. Come visit me. Uh, come see me on my Facebook page, YouTube, or at my website, apainplan.com. And the Facebook page is A Pain Plan with Sharon Smith. And it's a lot more interactive than the website. I do love my website, but come and see me. You can ask questions and we can chat there. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.